So this question, uh, the parallel branches of a two wire transmission line are terminated in 100 ohm and 200 ohm. So you can see from the figure, uh, the characteristic impedance is given as Z0 50 ohms and each section has a length of lambda by 4, the voltage reflection coefficient at the input. So there at this point they are asking the, what is the voltage reflection coefficient, right. Now in this figure what we can do is let us consider this as node A. Let us consider this as node B. So you can see that this 100 ohm and 200 ohm are parallel to each other with respect to node A and B, right. So what we can do over here is if I uh, find the input impedance for 100 ohms load, correct. So if I consider for 100 ohm, now this is lambda by 4. So lambda by 4 means what? So 100 ohm, we know that the formula for lambda by 4 is equal to Z0 square upon ZL isn't it? So that means actually what I am going to do is in this particular case, I will find the input impedance. So I am going to find the input impedance over here first that is Z in at AB, correct. So if I want to find the Z in at AB that means this 100 ohm and 200 ohm are parallel to each other, isn't it? So how to get this one? So first I will find for 100 ohms and this length is lambda by 4. So Z input impedance for 100 ohm at lambda by 4 length, at lambda by 4 length. So what is the formula for Z in? For lambda by 4 it is Z0 square upon ZL. So Z0 is how much? Z0 is 50. So this is equal to 50 square upon ZL is how much? 100, correct. So this is how much? It is 50 into 50 upon 100, right. So this is how much? So you can see that this is a 25 ohms, isn't it? You can see that this is 2 and this is your 25, correct. So this is a Z input 100 ohm. Next, Z input impedance for 200 ohm at lambda by 4 length, right. So for 200 ohm at this particular point input impedance will be how much? So again lambda by 4, so formula will become Z0 square upon ZL. So Z0 is how much? It is 50. So 50 square upon ZL is how much? It is 200. So this is same as 50 multiplied by 50 upon 200, isn't it? So this is 4, so this is your 2 and this is your 25, right? So this is your 12.5 ohms isn't it? So this is a 12.5 ohms. So therefore, what will be the input impedance for AB? Right. So if I want to find the input impedance at this point, so 100 ohm and 200 ohm, their input impedance will be in parallel. So therefore, I can say that this is your 12.5, isn't it? So I can say that this is your 25 is parallel with 12.5 ohms, isn't it? So 25 ohm, twenty five ohms is parallel with twelve point five ohms. So this is coming to be eight point three three ohms. Correct. Now so if I redraw the circuit, right, if I redraw the network, so I can draw it like this. This is your lambda by four length. Right, this is your lambda by four length and characteristic impedance Z0 is given as 50 ohm. This is your node A and node B, right. And there is a load that is connected. This is how much? It is your 8.33 ohms, right. And they are asking the reflection coefficient over here. If I consider this to be Z axis, considering this is Z is equal to 0, correct. So we know that the reflection coefficient gamma Z, it is equal to gamma 0 e to the power minus j2 beta L, isn't it? Or 2 beta Z, you can say minus of j times 2 beta z, right. Since basically the line is we will consider by default it is a lossless, correct. Now what is gamma 0? Gamma 0 is nothing but the reflection coefficient at the load end or z is equal to 0 end, correct. So therefore, what we can do here? So if I want to find the value of gamma 0 here, so what is the value of gamma 0? It is equal to zl minus z0 upon zl plus z0. So ZL is your 8.33 minus of 50 divided by 8.33 plus of 50. So let us calculate with the help of the calculator. So 
it is coming to be minus of 0 0.714 it is coming to be minus of 0 0.714 correct 714 right so this is same as minus 5 by 7 this is nothing but your minus of 5 by 7 correct so therefore they are asking at z equal to lambda by 4 at z is equal to lambda by 4 so gamma reflection coefficient will be how much it is your minus of 5 by 7 e to the power minus j times 2 beta is nothing but 2 pi by lambda and z is how much it is lambda by 4 so there are some terms that are getting cancelled so let us see which terms so this lambda lambda this 2 and 2 and this is 4 so this is how much it is minus 5 by 7 e to the power minus j pi this is nothing but your 5 by 7 isn't it so answer should be so reflection coefficient at the load end sorry at the uh, from the load end towards the generator side or the from the source end you can say right because in the question they have the voltage reflection coefficient at the input so at input will be how much it should be 5 by 7 so this should be the answer so here answer is 5 by 7 that means option d is the correct answer correct